The most striking feature of this fastnet race has been the change in weather, and particularly of wind, since the halfway mark. The American boat Sorcery, which we found at dawn this morning a few miles from the finish, had led the race all the way. But whereas at the turn round Fastnet Rock she was nearly five hours faster than the record, the wind had since abated so much that her time of 93 hours and 40 seconds was more than 13 hours outside the record when she came into win. But Sorcery is not in the American team for the Admiral's Cup, of which the Fastnet is the fourth and most important race, so interest was keener to see the next finishers. Second across the line, having apparently made up some considerable leeway during the night, was the Brazilian yacht Saga. The Brazilians are now in with a chance of taking the cup, but with the scoring system so full of handicaps and penalties, and with all points in the fastnet counting treble, it's really only guesswork. Charisma, the leading American team yacht competing in the Admiral's Cup, was only 20 minutes behind Saga, but was caught when the wind suddenly dropped to nothing and the tide round the breakwater turned, so that her last half mile took no less than two hours. The Americans are also looking well placed in the competition. The overall change in wind conditions has probably done more than anything to improve the chances of the British retaining the cup. The latest corrected figures show Britain neck and neck in the lead with Australia, and no wind is an ill wind for the large Australian yachts. The forecast is calm weather. Britain's chances also depend heavily on the Prime Minister improving his position in Morning Cloud. At the moment, he's thought to be lying last of the three British yachts, and any help he can give the others is vital. But none of the British team has been sighted this morning. Michael Oliver, first report.